We are here today to uh, mark a very special occasion. The East African Business Council is 20 years old. And to mark that day, we will also be launching to you some very special awards, which I do not want to get into. And I think who better placed to speak to us at this juncture than the Executive Director of the East African Business Council, Lillian Awinja. Karibu sana, Lillian. Good morning, everybody. Um, I would like to thank all of you for taking time to be here with us this morning for this special launch of the EABC Business Excellence Awards that we are taking off this morning uh, throughout the East African region. Um, we appreciate your support and commitment to this process until we finally host the awards on 23rd of March 2018 here in Nairobi. EABC, as I said earlier, is the apex body of the private sector in East Africa. We work in all the East African community partner states, uh, including uh, Burundi, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, and now South Sudan. And um, our role is to foster the interests of the private sector within the integration process, to advocate for creation of a better business environment in the region, to ensure that the business community actually plays, plays its role of being the driver of the regional integration in East Africa. And uh, while we are doing that, we have been working with all the governments of the partner states, uh, engaging them in advocacy, um, talking to them about improving the business environment, making sure that businesses can be able to thrive across the region. We have been doing that for the last 20 years. 1997 marked the 20th anniversary of EABC, and as we uh, start off 2018, we want to celebrate 20 years of dedicated policy advocacy for the private sector, and also bringing out the contribution of the private sector to the development of the economies of the partner states of the East African community. Our role is twofold. One, to create that platform through which the business community can present their concerns, their issues, and areas that they require policy reforms for the region in order to prosper, and also to promote the EAC's private sector regional and global competitiveness. We want the regional, uh, I mean the business community in East Africa to be more competitive, to be able to um, play it's mandate uh, effectively across the region, and we work both at organizational level and at farm level, providing information and uh, providing um, programs that help to improve the working of the community, the business community across East Africa. With these mandates, we have been very instrumental in spearheading various initiatives to foster the spirit of the ESC integration across the business community. And we continue to play that role. So within the 20th anniversary, we want to refocus again. We want to um, talk about our mandate and see what would be the priorities for the next season. In the coming five years, 20 years, as we move forward, what do we want to be our priority focus? So the 20th anniversary will be uh, held on on 23rd of March uh, 2018, here in Nairobi at the KICC. But with the anniversary, we will have several events taking place. But one of the events which we are here for today is the Business Excellence Awards. Businesses from all the partner states will be expected to send in their entries for the various categories and uh, to participate fully. Um, in any of the categories, it doesn't have to be one category. They can participate in as many as three categories. Um, the first category, as you have seen, is the overall East African regional company. And we are looking for a business or a company that has made a tremendous contribution to the East African community integration and also the economy of the region through employment, through um, uh, paying of taxes, they need to demonstrate how they have contributed to the regional integration process. They need to showcase what they are doing across the East African region. They should have a regional presence in the five countries uh, or the six, and they need to show how they are contributing to the economies of these uh, member countries. The second category is the cross-cutting category of awards, which will recognize businesses that have excelled 
in various industries. It could be manufacturing, the services sector, the SME sector, the women-owned enterprises, green economy, innovation, and corporate social responsibility. And the third category is specific to industries, uh, which are outstanding companies across the various sectors, like the financial services, transport, logistics, media, tourism, hospitality, extractive and mining sector. These um, awards will be overseen, as we have said before, by a judging panel from across the region. Uh, we have selected eminent personalities from each of the uh, five countries, and we also have um, an audit firm that will be provided, providing the audit services to the awards to make them more um, have more integrity. So we have uh, part of the panel of judges, uh, one of audit company that we will be looking at how the entries are being received, how the entries are being assessed, and how the selection is being done to make sure that the process is above board. The entry is open to all um, companies in the East African Community Partner States, and each company is eligible to submit at least three for three categories and can be awarded in any of those three categories. Apart from the competitive process, we will have recognition awards for our partners, our members, that we shall give after the competitive process is finalized. We have a web portal where we shall be giving information on the awards. The web portal will provide um, access to the entry process, the forms that we need to fill in order to join the judging process. And on that portal also we'll have the judging panel the, 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 the profiles of the judging panel who are from across the region. It will provide a lot of information on where, what experience they have and what they're involved in at, the, at present. And um, it will also showcase um, which audit firm will be joining us for the judging process. Finally, the dates. We are launching the awards today. Um, 10th of January 2018. The competition will run until 7th of February 2018. So we expect entries from the business community during this season. The judging and verification process will run from the 8th of February to the 7th of March 2018. Each category will have three finalists. So during the award process on the 23rd of March uh, here in Nairobi, we'll have three finalists for each category, and each of those categories will be awarded. The finalists will be announced on Monday 12th, March um, 2018. And then the, those categories of finalists, the finalists in each category will be uh, featured on the website and across the media. The ultimate winners will be um, announced at the gala dinner scheduled for 23rd March 2018 at the Kenyatta International Conference Center here in Nairobi, Kenya. Winners will receive a trophy and a certificate of recognition in addition to earning the ultimate accolade of business excellence among peers in the East African community region. Good morning everybody. Um, I don't want to give too many secrets away so I'll, I'm going to, uh, to give you just a very brief um, uh, statement on judging. Um, the first thing is that we have seven judges in total who will be looking at the entries um, after they've been received. And the seven judges are s selected from across the five East African countries. And amongst the judges, you also have a reasonable and I think very, very good diversity, um, both in terms of gender, um, experience, age, everything else. So that mix allows for, I think, um, a lot of different perspective in terms of the judging that is going to be done um, over, the, over the period once the entries have come in. Um, but also when you look at the categories as well, for us as judges it's quite interesting because it really covers what I call the, the buzzing areas of the, of, of the world at the moment. First of all, I think it's important to recognize for East Africa that the SME sector is a very important one. So that is one that will feature uh, quite strongly. There's also women and then green and also the area of sustainability, which is basically social responsibility. Those are areas that are what I call a touchy-feely areas that, that, um, that need to be looked at in great detail. But there's one th key thing that I'd like to, um, to sort of put out there very early. 
Traditionally, when you go for these awards, people will think, oh yeah, you will find uh, Uganda breweries, you will find, uh, you will find uh, Bidco, you will find the breweries and so forth, the large companies, because they tend to feature in this thing. Um, we as judges recognize that those companies are quite heavy in terms of the people they, and the effort they put in. We recognize that. But the categories and the reasons we're going to be judging are very clear. So it means that from SMEs all the way to the large multinationals, we'll have an equal chance of actually featuring in the Excellence Awards. So what I th the key message out here is that judging is going to be completely transparent and fair, and the bias we have seen in the past towards big companies winning is not going to be applied this particular time. They have to earn their place at the table, just like an SME, a one-person operation, a six-person operation, or a multinational with 10,000 employees. They will be treated exactly the same. So for me, that is all I'd like to say that, uh, from the judging. Um, ours will be to report at the time we have finished about what we have been through. Right now, all you can say is we'll have a fair, transparent, and very vigorous um, process with the team that has been assembled of very, very experienced judges. Happy New Year. And uh, thanks for turning up. My fellow board members, our ambassador, our chief justice for the awards, <laughs> ED, EABC, and your staff who have come all the way from Arusha, my vice chairman, Nicholas, our partners, supporters, members of business, and the press. Most of uh, our attendance today is geared to media, and uh, it's not that we don't want others, but we know you, you, you pass on information. And uh, since our integration is uh, private sector driven, and I'm sure most of you are in private sector, I call upon you to give the good news. The, the good news of business that have improved, oh no, have been born, expanded, improved, and spread into East Africa. That uh, good news, if it can keep coming. I was uh, asking my ED to find a way with different medias, whether in the press or on TVs and radios, where we can have a routine agenda giving information on what we do as EABC, on what is happening in business. I know it is there, but it's not enough. Uh, at times we are taken by politics, at times we are taken by local news that really do not create wealth or give us an uh, impetus or uh, awareness to, to be creative and to move forward. So, media, you have a very important role. I know you know it more than me, but I let me emphasize it that we as EABC would want to work together to give the good news that give us the taxes, the good news that give us the products, the good news that give us a better life than we've been having. Today we are celebrating 20 years. I'm sure all of you are above 20 years. Those who are not yet 20 years, I wish you to, to catch up. But 20 years is a big period. And uh, if you look 10 years, maybe you were going up, started thinking after 15. So those who are 20 in, in life, you would have some effect between 15 and 20 and above. But for us, we started EABC 20 years ago. And uh, we are now celebrating 20 years. And for the first time uh, in, 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 in our business, we have decided to to, 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 take, to take on these awards so that we recognize those who are basically have done business in the, 
in the, in the region. So on behalf of my board and EABC and the entire business community in East Africa, I welcome you all to this launch, which is a very important, the first launch of EABC Business Excellence Awards that is going to be organized by EABC and our partners and supporters. As you may be aware, EABC was formed 20 years ago, and this year we are celebrating 20 years of existence. As we look at policy and advocate for private sector for good business environment. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 years of EABC anniversary is an opportunity <coughs> to reposition and rebrand EABC while making its key messages in the view of evolving and dynamic changes and scenarios in the policy advocacy. It will also provide an opportunity to EABC to increase its recognition as the voice of private sector and in East Africa, and one of the foremost regional representative, as one of the foremost representative bodies in Africa. You know, our integration in East Africa is most recognized as the most successful integration in, in, in Africa. The key planned activities for the celebration of the 20 years include a high-level conference as part of the 20th anniversary that will be here in Nairobi on 20th March 2018 at International Conference Center. The theme for the year we shall carry for that celebration will be beyond East Africa, moving from aspiration to action. EABC members, partner, partners, and key EABC stakeholders are all expected. A Made in East African Products and Services exhibition running from 22nd to 23rd March aimed at promoting Made in East Africa, uh, uh, in East African Products and Services will be another, uh, another item that we shall uh, celebrate. The Inajo EABC, EABC Business Excellence Awards to be unveiled on 23rd March. This, I think, she gave it in her program. Further, in recognizing the role of women entrepreneurs in East African regional integration, one day event on 22nd March for the East African women in business platform, focusing on, importing the, uh, on, on improving the participation of women in business in the East African integration process. Ladies and gentlemen, EABC intends to bring to the forefront the critical role of private sector in East African region through EABC, through, through the EABC Business Excellence Awards. The business community that has spread into East African countries needs to be recognized. It's for this reason that we are organizing mainly this award. The EABC will be recognizing companies in three categories with a total of 14 individual categories. The corporate awards, which are cross-cutting categories I think you went through all those. I think I will not repeat them. As I conclude, I take this opportunity to invite members of business community and partners in public sector to join uh, the uh, to join the competition and uh, participate in this award. It's now my pleasure and uh, privilege to launch the. EABC Business Excellence Award 
that will start today, uh, that, st that starts today, and then we shall be getting entries. I call upon all those who have, especially who have had a presence in the region as a business to participate in this very important function. Thank you very much. The answer to the value to the consumer um, about this competition is that um, some of the elements we'll be looking at in the judging um, include how um, the kind of quality of product they are good, they are, they are giving, also the systems they're using to ensure that that quality is is consistently uh, achieved, but also the issue of engagement with the communities where they work, because it is important not only to just be a supplier but also to interact within the communities in which you are. The reason that is important is that by having that reaction with the communities you have, you are able to give a better service to those people and also give them a better product. So the whole, the whole, um, the, the, the whole um, environment of judging is based, is based on the return to the consumer. All right? But also the fact that you are present across, how present you are across most of East Africa. Because again, that means that in terms of the, of the reach of the consumer, wherever you are within the region, wherever you go, you'll be able to get that product or that service or that particular thing. So it's embedded within some of the, the, the judging criteria. And hopefully for the company that comes out, this is almost like a, a, a way of then being able to then go back to the consumer and tell them this is an, a, almost like an excellence award. You can trust us from there. So I think it's a two-way two thing. How these uh, business excellence awards um, adds uh, or the contribution to the consumer. Um, one of the things uh, that is clear within the East African region is that for goods to be able to cross the border and go into the next country, they have to have the certification. So we have the, the Bureau of Standards certification and then um, we have the harmonization of those standards at the regional level to get the East African community standard. So that harmonization is ongoing. So with, through these Business Excellence Awards, which we shall be holding every two years, we expect more and more companies to come on board to participate in the, in the, in the awards process to be able to be awarded the Excellence Award for the region. That means their products 